This problem is a word problem that is dealing with mixing some items. Um, so let's look at this. This says Johnny is a shrewd eight-year-old. For Christmas his grandparents gave him ten thousand dollars. Johnny decides to invest some of the money in a savings account that pays two percent per annum and the rest in a stock fund paying ten percent per annum. Johnny wants his investments to yield seven percent per annum. How much should Johnny put into each account? Okay, so before we begin, the first thing we need to do again is to really figure out what they're talking about here to understand the problem. This this young man is given ten thousand dollars and he's going to put some in one account and some in the other account. Now he's going to get interest off of both of those accounts and whenever he adds those interests together he's going to have a total amount of interest. This is again the process that you're using trying to figure out um, how to go about solving these problems. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to decide what it is that we're working with. Well he's got some money that he's going to be putting in a savings account and he's got some money that he's going to be putting in a stock fund. So I'm going to make some little um, kind of row headings for this. Now according to the problem they, they, we know that he's got some money involved and there's going to be some interest involved. When we think about interest, we know that there's a formula that says interest equals principal times rate times time. But because we're working per annuum here, that means per year, so we're going to forget about the time part because that's just going to be a one. So we just have interest equals principal times rate. So I'm going to make some column headings then that are principal and rate and interest since that's what we're dealing with here. Alright now think about what we know given this problem. We know that he had a grand total of ten thousand dollars. I think I might make another row here for total because that's a total principal of ten thousand dollars. We also know that the savings account pays two percent in its interest rate. So if I write that as an interest rate here in my column that would be 0 0.02 because remember we work with decimals we talk about percentages. Now he puts the rest in a stock fund that pays 10 percent per annum. Well 10 percent interest rate would be 0 0.10 in my rate column. He wants his investments to yield 7%. So for his total amount of money, he wants to make 7% off of that. Well, we don't know how much he's putting in either one of these accounts. So we have to let one of them be X. Let's say he puts X dollars in the savings account. Then that leaves him 10,000 minus X to put in the stock fund. For instance, think about if he puts $3,000 in this account, you know off the top of your head he's got seven thousand left to put in the other one because we had to take the three thousand away from the ten thousand to figure out what was left so that's a pattern once we have the first two columns identified then principal times rate is interest so our interest column oops, would just be the multiplication of the first two so I'm going to show that I'm multiplying those first two columns together and now I have my interest column. Now the problem said he's going to get some interest off of this account and some interest off of this account and he wants to make a total amount of interest. Here is our equation. So we can set this up as 0.02x plus 0 0.10 times 10,000 minus x equals 0 0.07 times 10,000. And I'm running out of time, so I'm going to take some shortcuts. We're going to distribute out our x, which would be 0.02x plus um, 1,000 minus 0.10x equals 700. And then if we move things around and solve, we should get an answer of x equals 3750, which means this is the amount that he has in the savings account. 3,750 which leaves 6,250 in the stock fund.